Hello children today we shall go through lesson 6 India under the British rule dear children as a result of the revolt of 1857 the government india act was introduced which abolished the rule of the british east india company and marked the beginning of british raj that given powers in the hands of the british government to rule india directly through representatives the british government took charge of the administration of india and queen victoria was declared as the empress of india queen victoria read a historic proclamation at minto park alabad it was related to indian administration Let's know some important facts of proclamation. A minister was separately appointed to govern and control England's rule in India. He was called Secretary of State for India. In India, the Governor General, who was representative of the British rule, became known as Viceroy. The first Viceroy of India was Lord Canning. Talukedars and Zamidars were recognized as British representatives. The number of European soldiers was increased and the number of Indian soldiers was decreased. But Indians were not satisfied with the administrative changes after proclamation. So the administrative reorganization was initiated by the British government. So the first administrative act was enforced in 1861. That was Indian Council Act 1861. Let's know about Indian Council Act 1861. in detail under this council act there were 6 to 12 additional members who were elected by the governor general the council of governor general was called the imperial legislative council it was only a consultative committee the indian members in this council were nominated by governor general so they did not represent the common indian public at all still the indian public was not satisfied with the reforms made in the governance of india in the act of 1861 so keeping in mind the demands of the indian people the act of 1892 was passed and it was known as the indian council act 1892 22 let's know about this act under this act many reforms were made such as the number of additional members of the central legislative council was increased from 12 to 16 these members were given the right to ask questions and to discuss the budget Apart from these acts some more changes were also done in order to strengthen the Indian governance such as the local self government act was passed by this act local government was formed in villages districts and cities Let's know about the Indian Civil Service Act 1861. By this act any person whether Indian or European could be appointed on all the high posts. Satyendranath Thakur was the first Indian to pass the civil service exam. in 1863 the next change done by the british government was reorganization of the police and army in 1893 bengal madras and mumbai armies were integrated these armies worked under the chief of the british army In the police force the post of daroga was given to the indians whereas the post of superintendent of police was kept for the europeans in india the traditional system of justice was based primarily on the common law 
so some changes were done in the field of laws too the laws were codified it meant that the government would be governed by the law the same law would be applicable for all people irrespective of the caste religion and class means ab sabhi logo ke liye ek tarah ka law tha chahe wo kisi bhi caste religion ya class ke ho after 1857 financial administration was also reconstituted The arrangement of the budget began in 1860. The income from all sources such as land revenue, excise, etc. was divided between the central and provincial governments. Now we shall discuss the most important change that took place in our society. It was the introduction of the English education and western education policy in India. Under this policy, schools maktabs and madrasas were opened for education in india the education policy of macaulay 1835 brought a great effect in indian education in which macaulay advocated english as a medium of education for the indians english education played an important role in bringing new ideas of the western world of knowledge of modern science to india in this way western education enforced by the british broke the conservatism of indians and awakened in them the curiosity and desire to explore the new world that's all for today children goodbye